got to think about the audience. Like, what does your audience want to see? Like, yeah, you want to do the video on the open house, and that's great, but sometimes it can be so boring and stale. So find ways to make a video interesting and showcase that. I mean, if there's a great backyard, just show the backyard, tease them, make them come back for more, and that's where you're going to get the viewers. And if you make them smile, you make them laugh, and you entertain them and educate them, they will come back every time to watch all of your videos. What? Last week I posted a video, it was an Instagram story, so like 15 seconds of my son trying out some broccoli. And people were like, oh my gosh, so it's not always these big commercial, thought out videos, it's these little ones that people see a side of you that they're like, hey, like she's a real person, he's a real person. I have that same trouble with my teenager, he won't eat broccoli either. So don't think about making a video that's gonna go viral, think about a video that people are gonna get engaged with and that are going to showcase parts of who you are and also also your business side so it's personal and business I think people don't own themselves and so when they get in front of the camera they start to nitpick themselves apart I have bad hair I don't like my voice I need to lose 15 pounds okay here's the thing you're going out and you're showing clients every single day that's who you are so if you're not owning who you are that's more about you than what you're putting in front of the camera. So you've just, don't go back and watch yourself a zillion times, it's horrible. <laughs> like I don't watch myself over and over again, it's not worth it. So just focus on getting your message out there and saying it in a way that people wanna like, hey, I get her, I wanna follow her, I wanna engage with her, I wanna use her as my real estate agent. Fun facts is a great way to really get people to pay attention a little bit. Um, what I mean by fun facts is there's all kinds of little things that we, now we can just Google and we can find out like where did the word hashtag from come from? Like how is that like a word? You know, give them a little education and fun with it. Like hey, have you ever wondered why the pound sign is now a hashtag? Here I Googled it. Here's the answer. Like have fun with it. Look up a neighborhood and do the same thing. Research it. Why did the neighborhood get the name? Why is it in that location? Who are the builders? What is the history of those builders? People wanna know. And if you're the person giving it to them, they're gonna come back for more.